Hi all, welcome back to new video. So let's discuss about how to link lead or opportunity into a spreadsheet in Odoo 16 CRM. It plays a crucial role in business operation and management. We can store large amount of data in a company using spreadsheet. Implementing ERP software allows you to add different data types to various spreadsheet easily. This would allow you for data analysis and reporting, collaborations and data sharing, data backup and version control, offline access and mobility, integration with external system. This video will let you link lead or opportunity into a spreadsheet in Odoo 16 CRM. For that, first we need to formulate a lead to connect with a spreadsheet in Odoo 16. For that, you can just get into the CRM module. And here we can see a tab called leads. Let's create a new lead. You can provide the name of the lead. Here I'm giving the lead name as Votal Pricing. Here you can also set the probability of the lead. This would shows uh, that the chance of convert this to the opportunity, which means the lead that to convert into opportunity. And here we can also set uh, the company name. And you can fill all other details like street, city, state and all. First, you have to choose the country. As you choose the country, you can see the states will be suggested for that particular country. And if you want to set the zip code, you can set that. And you can also set the website uh, to contact. And you can see the salesperson and sales associated with this lead. Here you can also set the contact name. And you can also provide the email. So let me provide the email as all other details like job position, phone, mobile and all. You can also set the priority for this. After that, you can uh, see that uh, the lead is generated. So the generated lead will be available here. And now let's see how to import the data. In order to import the data, you just navigate into the favorites and you can see insert list in spreadsheet. So this would allow you to insert the data. Currently, we have 26 leads available uh in this window so let me click on insert list in spreadsheet so that we will get a pop-up window which shows uh the different previews of uh the spreadsheet and let me create a new uh, spreadsheet in order to insert the list so you can choose a blank spreadsheet and click on confirm so that you can see a new spreadsheet is created in documents so when you navigate into the documents module you will be able to see its spreadsheet will be generated with name untitled. So you here you can see the uh, document that has generated. Now when you back to the documents uh, and yeah, uh, let's go to internals and it's able to see all other documents also. So here you can see the document that has generated right now. And if you want to set the priority or add to favorite, you can set that. Uh, you can also schedule. Uh, activities as well as you can also see the assignee of this and let me uh, choose the uh, document so as I have choose the document I will get a uh, if I want to download that I can download and if I want to replace this file I can replace this uh, using replace uh, icon and if I want to log this uh, can also log the document and we can see the document name is given as untitled spreadsheet and you can name uh, this into test lead and if you want to set any contact for that uh, you can set that too and here you can see the honor is set to Michelle admin and uh, we can also create uh, the works space for this so let me generate a workspace so currently here you can see workspace and uh, if you want to create a new workspace, it is possible to create a workspace. So in order to create workspace, you just navigate into a configuration and here we can see the workspace. So all uh, the leads associated with this particular workspace can be uh, moved to uh, this area or this section. So you can uh, give the name of the workspace as test leads. And if you want to set the parent uh, workspace, you can set that. So let me set the parent workspace as lead 
and if you want to restrict this uh, workspace for a particular company you can do so and here we have tags and you can set the uh, categories uh, of this so when you click on add a line here you can set the tag category and all so i'm not letting uh, that category is right now and you can also set the access right uh, like the right access and read uh, groups and all here you can also provide uh, the description which means more information regarding this uh, workspace now let me save this so i as i have saved that workspace that workspace will be available um here also you would be able to see that workspace in the left side of the window so you will be able to see a workspace called test yeah let's see whether it has generated you can see test lead uh, lead is the parent and test lead is the child uh, of this workspace so when you navigate you can see you can unfold this and you can see the uh, yeah workspace that we have generated and let me go to that so currently we don't have any documents under this workspace so in order to move the workspace i mean in order to move that spreadsheet which means the test lead document to the uh, workspace you can just select uh, the document and change the workspace over here so here you can search for the workspace so either you can assign this to the parent uh, yeah workspace or uh, now uh, you can also assign this to the child workspace so i'm moving uh, this document to the child workspace and you can set that so currently that has moved to the child workspace and when you navigate into the uh, test leads which is a child workspace you can see uh, one document has moved and here you can also see the size of the document now you can also insert the uh, leads into spreadsheet in the pivot view for that you can just navigate into the crm module and let's uh, navigate into leads and here we can see the pivot view under the pivot view this shows all the leads with uh, uh, different measures like uh, days to assign days to close days to convert um, then exceeded closing days expected mrr expected revenue prorated mrr prorated revenue and recurring revenues and count so if you want to um, insert this into the spreadsheet just click on insert in spreadsheet and you can see uh, all the available documents right now and uh, let me click on blank spreadsheet so that uh, all the leads will be uh, generating into or inserting into a new um, yeah a new document and you can see the name of the pivot is uh, given as pipeline analysis by stage and uh, you cannot make any addition i mean if you want to make any addition in this you can uh, change that so currently i'm using the default name of the pivot and you can just uh, confirm that and you can see uh, a new spreadsheet is created in the documents with all the details and uh, you can just navigate into the document module which shows that a new document will be created under the workspace so let's uh, navigate into all so you can see a new document is created from the lead i mean pivot view of the lead uh, and here also uh, you can uh, view everything so as we set different measures all different measures will be set as different columns and all uh, the details will be under that column now you can also um, link the leads uh, from the graph view so let's back to the crm module again and uh, you can choose leads and here we can see the graph view so graph view shows different uh, graph representations of the leads uh, and uh, this shows the undefined uh, leads and we have uh, certain counts of yeah leads with uh, different stages uh, that are assigned to michelle admin and if you want to link this into a spreadsheet you can link so and before that if you want to add more um data is in the spreadsheet you can uh, use the measures like automated probab uh, probability bounds uh, days to assign days to close days to convert exceeded closing days uh, expected mrr expected uh, revenue so uh, as you choose different measures you can see there will be a fluctuation in the uh, bar of the graph so uh, you can see the probability 
prorated MRR, prorated revenue, recurring revenue, and you can also get the entire count of the lead. So when you choose uh, the count as the measure, you can see the entire count of the lead and you can see different colors has different representation and all those uh, representations are defined in this uh, window. And when you want to insert this into a spreadsheet, just click on insert in spreadsheet and you can uh, link this into a spreadsheet. So the name of the graph is currently opportunities. Uh, so if you want to make any addition in that name, you can do so. So let me insert this list or this graph uh, data into a blank uh, spreadsheet. So you can just click on confirm. So here we have currently uh, linked uh, various uh, leads into a spreadsheet using Odoo 16 CRM module. So this is easy to create. I mean, uh, it is easy to access the created files within the document module of Odoo ERP. And the management of the lead document is very helpful for the company's future. So hope this concept is clear for you. Thank you for watching the video.